Hi, this is Ashley Davis from Helituning.com. Just recently I did a video on Scorpion's 130 amp and 90 amp speed controllers, the HV series that I'd been using in my models over the recent flying season, last, last year in fact, and had a lot of success with them. Unfortunately at the time I released my video, Scorpion had literally just announced that they were bringing out a new speed controller which was the next generation of their HV speed controller. Uh, and the difference was that this one has three new capabilities. One is it's got a built-in BEC or SBEC. The other was that it was capable of linking up to the V-bar with a new cable that they supplied so that you could use the governor on the V-bar rather than the ESC's internal governor. And the third change was that they'd introduced a programming cable which allows you to connect a USB device to it and program the ESC using your computer. So, having announced that ESC, I thought I'd better do a small video on it to introduce you to it and give you a first look at it since I'd just released the other video. So, without further ado, what you see before you is the new speed controller and I'll just quickly take you through the new features on here. The first thing that's immediately obvious with this new speed controller is that it has two cables on it for plugging into your radio system. One of them has the signal cable on it which is the, the same as the old speed controller. The other is purely power and has two cables going into it. And the reason it has these two on here is because this speed controller is capable of delivering 15 amps worth of power uh, and that's too much for a single cable so you've now got double cables one with signal one without to provide power to your radio system. Up the top here in the packet you can see what Scorpion calls its opto cable. This allows you to connect the speed controller to the V-bar governor so you can plug from from this into the V-bar and this will convert the signal from uh, the internals of the ESC into uh, what the V-bar would envisage as the, you know, a, a pulse for its governor so that it's able to govern the ESC and control the throttle for you. So this gives you a new mode in the speed controller called Air 2 which allows you to configure an external governor via the opto cable. The other thing that you can see just sort of hidden down here is the little red input and this is where you plug in your USB device for program, programming the ESC via a computer. I don't actually have the uh, little cable for doing that uh, just yet so I can't show you it but the basics of it are it's just a little USB um, cable with a servo plug on the end much the same as any other uh, USB device that we have uh, for programming devices uh, within the radio control hobby you see that you know, these things are quite common uh, still got the programming card if you want to program it via the programming card and it comes with the usual IR receiver which I've got here and uh, that will allow you to use the programming card to program it or alternat uh, alternatively you can use the USB cable as I mentioned and it's also still got the little LED on it which gives you feedback with regard to the status of uh, the device when you're programming it. Aside from that, there's not a huge amount of difference between this ESC and the previous 130 amp, although there are a couple of physical differences. One is in the capacitors, um, smoothing capacitors on the uh, input there. And uh, if I bring in the old 130 amp speed controller, which I've got here, you can see that uh, I put them together. They're a little bit smaller, the new capacitors. Uh, I haven't pulled back the sheathing here to discover exactly what uh, the difference is between these capacitors but the immediate thing is that the size is different. Aside from that the actual two speed controllers are pretty much identical in size. Another small change is that the old ESC had the tabs on the side that allowed you to bolt the ESC to your machine and those have now gone and it's much like any other ESC on your, you see on the market with uh, nothing around it. Um, none of these uh, sticky out tabs which uh, actually makes the ESC a little bit easier to install into some of the constrained spaces we have on our models these days. With regard to the function of the ESC, 
It's very much the same as the previous CSC in terms of what it can deliver. It has low voltage cutoff settings. Uh, it has a brake setting if you want to use that, which is configurable. It has a couple of uh, different governor modes, um, one of which allows you to use the external governor, as I mentioned, or you can still use the very good internal ESC on this speed controller. It has um, a, uh, a settings for uh, current overload protection. You can change the frequencies um, that it will drive the motor, the motor at, or you can allow it to auto-sense the motor, which is one of the, the uh, same features on the previous ESC. Uh, it has soft start settings to allow you to configure uh, whether it has a, you know, a very short soft start or um, whether it's a very long sort of slow spool up. And it also has the auto-rotation recovery features from the old ESC, which I th thought were absolutely excellent. Um, which allow you to program how quickly the speed controller will ramp back up to full power when you switch out of uh, hold back to idle up, and uh, you can conf you can configure you know how long the ESC will wait before it switches out of that quick startup mode back to uh, an ordinary spool up as if the machine had just been put on the ground ready for takeoff. So uh, it gives you a configurable amount of time for how long you can be in the auto before that particular feature auto recovery turns off and it goes back to the, the slow start you would have um, if you were spooling up for the first time. With regard to the internal BEC, that's also configurable. It's a 15 amp peak BEC. Um, I don't know what the continuous current uh, rating is for it, but it's 15 amps peak and it's configurable from 5.4 volts up to 7.4 volts as a BEC. Okay, so I'm actually going to install this ESC into my T-Rex 600E Pro. This fits on the side of the machine, uh, just sort of tucked underneath the canopy. It's a bit too big as a 130 amp ESC to get on the front radio train, and in a lot of respects it's not really the right ESC to put on the 600E Pro because the 90 amp is probably you know, the right size to get on that front radio tray. But nothing wrong with having a speed controller that's a, a bit over spec for the machine. So I'm going to fit this to the 600 EF, EFL Pro and uh, give it some flights and see how it goes. So there you go, that's uh, just a, an overview of the speed controller uh, and its new functions. And uh, next video I do will have this fitted to the machine um, and all wired up and uh, we can have a look at its performance in flight.